Hey, and welcome to Sean's DVD collection. Today's segment is going to be my favorite comedy films. Let's start. Now, first one is Nacho Libre, which uh, stars Jack Black. It's from the writers of the film School of Rock. And it's about this luchador who kind of, you know, is kind of a monk who works in this religious place and, like, there's this religious orphanage in Spain and he always dreamed of being a luchador. And, really, I, the first time I've seen this was On Demand, so. But it's actually kind of a good film. Yeah. And another one I got is Over Her Dead Body, which is a really good film. It's about this, um, it's about this sort of, this woman played by Eva Longoria Parker who is getting married to her fiance who's played by Paul Rudd. Unfortunately she dies because she gets crushed by a nice sculpture of an angel and it, it skips one year and he meets this uh, sort of this psychic who can help Eva Longoria's ex-husband to be sort of contact her letting her know that she can move on and they start dating and apparently Eva Longoria doesn't like that so he tries to make this woman's life a living hell. And it's kind of... Yeah. Just check it out. The next one I got is um... Dumb and Dumber. Um, it's kind of a good film. It's sort of done by the Farley brothers, and it's about these two guys, Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels, and Jeff Daniels runs as part of a dog doggy daycare company, and Jim Carrey's sort of a limo driver, and well, she drives this woman to the airport, only only she leaves her briefcase in the middle of the terminal, and Jim Carrey rushes off to uh, Aspen and gives the briefcase to her. Not only, but she don't real, you don't realize that the briefcase is actually full of money. Which it was actually like so they free a boyfriend. And, um, so we have to go to Aspen, which is kind of great. So, uh, this is a really good film. Jim Carrey is one of my favorite actors, and, um, I can't wait to get Yes Man on Blu ray. It's kind of good. And another one, I've been a fan of Adam Sandler ever since this movie, and it was a pretty nice, good idea, and it's the uh, Click, and um, Adam St Sandler sort of stars as this workaholic who doesn't really have time for his family, he doesn't have time, like, for anybody, so... He goes into bed, bath and beyond, and buys like this magical remote that sort of, you know, lets him sort of fast forward through his whole life, but all various parts of it. But soon, it starts to like fast forward through everything, and he thinks it's a malfunction, but it's not. It's a feature. It's using his memory to terminate his preferences. 
and um, Christopher Walken's in this. Here's some advice. If you go into an electrical shop, don't buy a universal remote because those things, they can ruin your life. The other one, the next one I've got is super bad. This is funny. It's about, like, Jonah Hill from Evan Almighty and Michael Cera from Juno and Nick and Nautilus Infinite Playlist and they play these two guys from high school who sort of it's the last day of high school so they just sort of they, tr they try to uh, you know provide alcohol for this party and and somehow it just sort of turns crazy my favourite character in this is Fogel or as you some people know him as McLovin yeah so um and the cops were funny in this so they're kind of funny so um check this out the next movie I got is Talladega Nights the Ballad of Ricky Bobby. Will Fells in it. He's kind of funny. And it's about this sort of race car driver who's like. He's a racing sensation. And, a, and he has like a loyal racing partner played by John C. Riley. And. You know, Borat, Borat plays a French Formula 1 racer called Jean Girard, who is about to wreck Ricky Bobby's world and challenge the supremacy of NASCAR. Now, Ricky must face his demons and kick some serious asphalt, so... Well, this has, like, deleted extended scenes, bonus race footage, linearama, Plus, if you also look at the top, well, since it's a webcam, webcam has kind of poor quality, so, yeah. I'll just put more of this. Okay. It ain't working, but it's an uncut version with more outrageous footage. So, there we go. Another one I got is... Road Trip, it's um, the unseen, explicit version of it, it's about this, um, this college student who sort of has a girlfriend and they live in different area codes and he kind of accidentally videotapes him cheating on his girlfriend with another woman and sends it to Austin, Texas, which is where his girlfriend lives, and they make a pact that they let us stay true to each other, and they have, yeah, him and his mates go on a road trip to retrieve it, to retrieve the tape, and Stiff was in this and Tom Green also uh, Joey's niece from the show Joey he's in this so let's check that out number one is the 2005 remake of Fun with Dick and Jane now I got like a bootleg of this at Kramer Lane. It was rubbish, so I decided to get the original version, even though it was three pounds. Lucky me. And Jim Carrey plays like this guy who works at a multinational corporation, and they sort of um role involved in an Enron-like scandal, you know, and him and his wife 
Jane, played by Paleone, sort of have to rob people to, in order to pay their bills. So, well, originally I just watched this because Jim Carrey is in it and he's my favourite actor. So, another is Along Came Polly. Watched this on ITV2. It was alright. About Ben Stiller, who, you know, gets married to a woman and the woman sort of cheats on him on their honeymoon with a muscle bound scuba instructor and now he's just a, not a risk taker he kind of bumps into his childhood friend played by Jeff Ronison so 